Wanna move my feet Wanna drop my one 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 Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Katie, I make all shop with me videos. Most of the time it's home decor related, anything to do with like home goods, Target, Walmart, all seasonal decor, things like that. So if you love those types of videos, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We might hit up a home goods, but I'm really looking to head into the mall. I'm looking for some like summer clothing items. I also do need items from like Bath and Body Works, so some home related items. More of like a casual vloggy shop with me. A lot of you guys ask for vlogs and in an effort to keep my private life more private, I don't do them. But I do like to do more casual stuff and also if you are interested in stuff like this, like this type of content or more about my personal life, you can definitely check out my Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Katie Vining and that's where you're gonna find more like up-to-date, regular, personal, everyday life stuff. I've done a couple of these over the last like few weeks, kind of like sprinkling them in to test it out and a lot of you guys have given me really good feedback that you like the more casual vlog style videos because if you don't know, if you are new here, a couple years ago I started this YouTube channel and it was all vlogs and then I took a couple years off came back to this channel and did shop with me videos so I do like to sprinkle these more casual videos in and it seems like you guys like them too so this is kind of the best of both worlds like I said I live in Orlando we have a couple different malls we have the Florida Mall we also have the Mall of Millennia which is where I am today which is like half luxury and then like half normal mall um, normally I park like on the side of like the stores I'm gonna go to but I kind of want to go to stores on both sides and I also wanted to show you guys like the middle like like the lobby and everything because it's such a pretty mall. Orlando also has really good outlets. Um, we have like a couple sets of really nice outlets. I'm not really like an outlet shopper. If I need something specific, I'll go to the outlets, but I don't go out of my way to go to the outlets. But like I said, today we are shopping at the Mall of Millennia. I also want to go to Old Navy, which isn't in the mall. It's like right outside of the mall. And then who knows? I really want to get a pair of hoop earrings. So maybe we'll pop into Target. Just going to kind of go peruse the mall and I'll definitely show you everything I buy at the end. So make sure you stay tuned to the end for a haul. But before before we head over to the mall, I really need some fuel, so that can only mean one thing. Let's head over to my fave, which is Starbucks, and then we will head to the mall. I literally just pulled right in with no weight. I can't even begin to tell you how this never happens. This is the only Starbucks in this very, very busy up and coming area behind Disney, and there's always a wait, so this is gonna be a good day. Thank you for choosing Starbucks, I'll be right with you. Okay. 12 seconds later. More moments later. Thank you for your patience. What can we get started for you today? Hi, um, may I please get a venti um, strawberry assay refresher with no strawberry pieces? Absolutely. What else? A can venti, I get for you? please. A venti? Yeah. Sure. Although I do normally order turned them. <laughs> and then can I also do an order of the egg white bites if you have them? You got it. Is there anything else for you today? That is it. All right, your total's 970. I'll see you up at the window. Thank you. We got the goods. We got the goods. Turn down my AC. Sounds like a wind tunnel in here, but it's like a billion degrees outside. Okay, I've got the goods. It's like almost like a tradition at this point where I eat egg bites when I film. They're just great fuel. There's like no carbs, no fat. It's like all protein because it's basically just egg whites, and they're so good. I don't know if it's just because I just brushed my teeth, but that tasted so weird. Okay, I think it was like the first sip because I had just brushed my teeth. So I'm gonna eat these really quick and then we are gonna head to the mall. All 
Alrighty, just pulled up to the mall. I'm so excited to show you guys. It's such a pretty mall. If you're ever visiting Orlando on a Disney trip and you do like a day not at the parks or if you come and stay in an Airbnb, I definitely recommend coming to this area. This is the area I shop in the most because all the good stores are here. Really good Target, a Super Target, um, Home Goods, Marshalls, this mall is here, West Elm, Hobby Lobby, like literally every single store is here. So definitely recommend checking it out if you're ever coming to the area. But let's head into the mall and let's get shopping. I am so excited to see what we find today all right let's go okay so this is like the outside main entrance is this not stunning also the noise is coming from these crazy fountains but yeah they have like cheesecake factory capital grill pf chang's earl's kitchen and bar and the super pretty entrance but yeah i just wanted to show it to you guys because i feel like it's like the prettiest mall i've ever seen so once you get inside this is like what it looks like this rotunda for christmas there's like the biggest christmas tree ever it's probably like 70 feet tall that goes right here and it's super pretty okay the first store i actually want to go to is airy they have like really good swimsuits and here we got like an airy like a separate airy store and i love it so i want to go check it out i'm also looking for more like basic t-shirts like just comfy stuff for the summer it's super hot here so you don't really want to wear anything like too intricate or heavy just casual stuff also everyone always asks me like if i get embarrassed to vlog in public and i don't I don't know if it's because I've been doing it for so long or if it's because in Orlando there's Disney so that brings so many like creative people and creators who vlog so maybe people are just more used to seeing people that vlog but no I don't get embarrassed but anyways I was looking online and it didn't really say they had that much in stock so I wanted to come and actually check out the store it's a really cute store so I'll definitely show it to you guys okay here is the airy store is it not so cute they have so many cute swimsuits and cute colors and all different cuts it seems like they have a lot of stuff in stock i'm also in love with these matching sets that they have i have one from here and a lot of you guys asked me where it was from so i'll definitely link a bunch of these down below for you guys they're the comfiest and they always have really good sales and they also have like tons of colors and stuff too okay someone else was taking a picture here but i wanted to show you they have this like picture wall that's like made out of grass and it says let the real you shine which is so cute i found this super cute swimsuit it's like ribbed and it's super hot pink I don't think the camera will be able to pick up the color, but I'm gonna try to live my best Barbie life. As I was saying too, they have like really cute basics. So just like really cute, like simple tank tops, really, really comfy, like oversized t-shirts that are just perfect and like cute and casual with jean shorts. Just like so many perfect summer pieces. And they kind of have everything categorized by like color family, which I really appreciate. So Aerie's also home to these like famous crossover leggings, like how the front crisscrosses. These got big on TikTok and like everyone raved about like how flattering they were on everybody, like the sisterhood of the traveling leggings. Personally, I've never tried them, but they must be popular because now they have them in a bunch of different colors and even a different material. And they're literally excluded from store-wide promotion. So you're not gonna find these on sale, but apparently they're really good. I'm really intrigued to try the crossover bike shorts, if that's what these are. No, these still look like leggings because I'm getting into bike shorts and I feel like if I can get the universally flattering leggings in a bike short, that would just be exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, I finally found them over here. They weren't like where they were originally listed. And I found these pink ones, but they look hella see-through, like hella. They don't have black in my size, I don't think, but she's gonna double check. But the pink would definitely be a no-go. Here are some more matching sets. I'm obsessed with this yellow one. I only see one pair of yellow shorts, so what are the odds that they're my size? Low, they are small. I would need about a medium. But I just love like the rib texture. This is seriously the best store to come for any sort of loungewear. This is the place. Found a pair of black, so I'm really excited to try these bike shorts. Look how cute this shirt would be for like Animal Kingdom. It's like so cute and comfy looking, so I'm gonna try it on. Okay, I gathered quite a few things for me to try. Okay, the first thing I wanted to try was this t-shirt, which it is really comfy. It would be cuter if I rolled the sleeves like they did on the mannequin and then these are already my shorts they're from target i will link them down below but i really like this t-shirt it's very comfortable i wish they had a small this is actually an extra small but it's like super uh oversized 
but I like it. I think it's really cute. Okay, I left the t-shirt on to try on these bike shorts. These are like the offline athletic ones and they actually have side pockets, which for me is a necessity to be able to have my phone. These are a large and they feel like, I don't know, I wish they were tighter. So um, I have a couple other pairs. So I'm gonna try the medium. But this is why it's so important that stores have the fitting rooms open. Like, I don't understand why like a lot of stores are like, no, you can take it home and try it on and then return it. But they don't have fitting rooms open. So I'm really glad that Aerie has their fitting rooms open. Okay, whoa. <laughs> so these are like the cross top ones. Um, and these are in a medium. They're actually more of like a shiny ribbed consistency. I like these a lot. They don't have side pockets, which is a huge downfall, but these are amazing. It definitely could be like a park outfit. Like if you tuck this cute or you could even like tie it. Like I probably wouldn't wear this at the parks, but you could if you want to, so. Just a really like comfy summer option. And then here is one of their like really comfy sets. This is amazing. I really want it in the bright blue color, um, but they don't have the shorts in the size that I want. I even want a size up from this. This is a medium and I actually want to size it to a large. A lot of the times their sets run really big. Like this is a small and it's huge. So I'm probably gonna pick up the top today and like order the blue bottoms. Um, at the store you can order it and they'll ship it to your house for free. Where like if you go home and buy it, you have to pay for shipping. So this is so comfortable. These are just so fun. I'll wear these out to like run errands with Brian. Like if we're just running to Target or Walmart, I'll just wear this because it's cute enough and like super, super comfortable. So definitely want to pick up this, but in like the light blue color. This is the last thing I'm going to show myself trying on. I'm not going to show myself trying on swimsuit. That's just not my channel. If you like body positivity swimsuit try-ons, definitely check out Carrie Dayton. Definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. But like I said at the beginning, I'll definitely do a haul at the end of everything I pick up today. So definitely make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, I got some goods. I just started at a new gym at F45, if you guys have heard of it. So I quit Orange Theory a couple months too early because then F45 got delayed. But now I'm at F45, so I'm obsessed with buying workout clothes. So all mine like, were really old and super used, so I've been buying a ton of workout clothes. And they just have so many cute ones for the summer right now. And I just walked past Pink. And some of the stuff looks so cute. I definitely have to show you. Let's go in. Gosh, all this like colorful workout gear Ugh, gets me in trouble. I just, I love the summer so much. I love bright colors and all the clothing just always matches for the summer. And I really like the pink active stuff. I used to like the Victoria's Secret active, but they got rid of it and then brought it back at pink. Um, this stuff is really nice. The prices are pretty good. So I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't. Look, look at all these pretty colored like workout leggings and bike shorts. I'm big into the bike shorts right now. That's what caught my attention, but like, Look at these, the bright colors. They just kill me. I'm obsessed with wallflowers. They just smell so good. They also have so many cute ones. We just have like the plain ones, but they sell like a lot of really cute designs too, if you want that. Like look at this little succulent looking one, like a bouquet of flowers. We have just the plain ones. We just have the white body with the matte black all over our apartment and it just looks nice and clean. But if you want more fun options, they definitely have those too. So if you haven't shopped the wallflowers, if you come in store, they'll have the candle in front of it so you can get an idea of what it smells like. For the winter and stuff, I like to go like really sweet, like marshmallow fireside and stuff, which I still do during the summer. But now that we're getting into spring, I'm definitely gonna go towards some more of these like floral, juicy scents. This is a new one that I think I'm gonna pick up. It smells so good. It's sweet like coconut, but then has this like warm essence to it because of the mahogany. This one smells pretty good. It's like a citrus, but like not like in your face citrus. Like how it says like sun washed. I feel like it's like a very like mild citrus flavor, but it smells really good. You know, I had to pick up a couple pineapple mango. I've never smelled this before, but it smells super, super good. This one smells really good too. Champagne toast. This is Brian's favorite candle. So I want to pick up a couple of the wallflowers because I know he will love that. It's such a fresh scent. It doesn't smell like, I know it's it like is champagne. So you might think like alcoholy, but it's not at all. It says bubbly champagne, but then like tangerine essential oils. And I definitely feel it, like it smells like more citrusy. It's a really, really nice scent. So this is my favorite scent for the bathroom, rose water and ivy. It's a really heavy like rose scent, but in a nice fresh way, not like an old way. <laughs> I don't know. 
of another way to say it, but that's definitely one of my favorites for specifically the bathroom. They do also have them categorized like fruity and happy, fresh and relaxing, and then this one's like warm and comforting, floral and uplifting. So they do kind of like have it organized for you, but there's a lot of options. Okay, I went ahead and picked out 10 of them because they are five for $24. Sometimes they do other sales, but this is like the normal sale and that's what they have going on right now. All right, got the goods. It was like 50 bucks to get 10 of them. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I never shop here, but we're gonna check it out. The lighting is pretty good in here. I used to shop in here a lot when I was a manager because they have really good like professional clothing, in my opinion. Um, Uniqlo kind of reminds me of like H&M, like really good business professional clothing or business casual. But I never shop in here for like just casual clothing, so I figured we could check it out. This t-shirt is made out of like towel material. They do have matching shorts too. So I feel like it'd be good to like, uh, if you wanted to wear your towel at the beach. <laughs> I don't know about this store. Towards the back of the store, I found a lot of this like pale yellow color. So in theory, this is looks like a dress I would wear, but I don't really like V-neck and also it is paper thin. Like it's definitely super see-through, but the price is pretty good, $17.99, but it doesn't really seem like a high quality like piece that would last a long time. The store's kind of reminding me of like Urban Outfitters, how like they have like really cool stuff. But like I feel like I'm not cool enough for it, if that makes sense. Like it's not made for me or my body type or yeah, just like the type of person I am. So definitely cool stuff, but I don't know if I would find anything in here. I like these like linen shorts. These are pretty nice. Very like comfy, casual. Prices extremely cheap. So I kind of like these. I could see my best friend Jess wearing these. She like loves stuff like this. These like woven knotted shoes remind me a lot of the ones that I got from A New Day. So if you couldn't find those or if you're looking for different colors, definitely check here. This like braided detail is very, very in and this one has the square toe, which is also very trendy. I definitely think if I dug around in here long enough, I would find cute stuff. The fitting rooms are closed though. So I probably wouldn't want to buy anything without trying it on. Cause like I said, I feel like this store is kind of like Zara where it's like not made for people who like have curves, I don't really know. I will say though, the main reason I wanted to come in here was to see if they had H&M um, Home. A lot of people always want to see me shop the H&M Home line, but they don't have it at any of the stores by me. I want to shop it so bad because online it looks really, really cute. They don't have it at any of the stores near me. I came in here to double check, but they don't. So let's head to Old Navy, I think. I'm not sure. This green dress caught my attention. I just love everything bright and summery and all these neon colors that are very trendy this year. They just are doing it for me. That dress is so pretty. They have these really cute like oversized rompers. Like they're not meant to be fitted and these would be perfect as bathing suit cover-ups. They'd be super comfy and easy to throw on like over your suit. So I love these. Everything here is just really expensive though. Like. This is probably like $60. So it's $50, but if it was Canadian, it'd be 64. So it is cute, but I don't know if it's like $50 cute. Honestly, at this store, I normally shop the clearance section. They normally have really cute stuff. So I wanna check there before I go. I just found this home stuff. <gasps> no way. They sell some of their home line in store? LOL, same. They have this planter, a lot of like the plant stuff. Is this like a soap dispenser or something? This is absolutely so cute. I don't know what it is, but it's $14.99. I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel, but Urban Outfitters actually has a really cute home line on their website. Really, really cute furniture. Like if you like boho, you'll absolutely love it. It's similar to like anthropology stuff if you've ever seen some of their stuff, but definitely way cheaper. So definitely check Urban Outfitters home section on their website. They have really, really cute like bohemian furniture and decor. Go check it out. Okay, over in the sales section now. And I found this really cute, just like simple gray baby doll dress. It's like paper thin, which is so nice for Florida. But they also have it in like a grayish tie-dye as well. And it is on sale. So it's originally 59 and it's on sale for 30. So not bad. I might go ahead and try it on. I wish they had like more colors, so I'm gonna keep looking, but I like the idea of it, so I might try it on. All right, we're gonna 
give it a try. Okay, here is the dress. This is fitting room, they ask you to keep your mask on, so of course gonna do that. It is cute, I feel like it does not look cute on camera, like at all. And it's that type of material that like shows everything, so you can like, I don't know, just see like every single ripple. But it is super comfortable. I think the tie-dye one would be really cute as a beach cover-up, but I don't know. So they do have it in a medium, but I don't know. For $30, I don't really like love it. So I think I'll pass on it. Okay, lastly, a store that a lot of people sleep on and don't shop at because they think it's for middle schoolers, but I'm about to blow your mind. They have the cutest clothes. Sorry, the lighting's a little bit weird because it's overhead. And I feel like it's decently size inclusive. I want to show you their Curve Love line. I absolutely love it. You buy it for your waist size and then there's like two extra inches in the hips and the legs, which is perfect. Like I've never found jeans and shorts that fit me so well. So I wanted to show you guys them. But I'll show you some of the other cute stuff they have for the summer too. Okay, so they have like the regular shorts. Like this is just one type, the mom short high rise. But what you have to look for is this how it says curve love at the top the curve love mom short high rise so like it says here they have an extra two inches through the hip and the thigh they honestly just fit like normal bodies so much better than the regular ones i highly recommend these are my favorite jeans of all time the mom high rise the curve love ones for size reference i am either an 8 or a 10 um, it really just depends you have to try them on but they're amazing throughout the store they'll have all the styles in like regular and in curve love so you really have to pay attention like even if you're going through a pile of curve love jeans and you find your size make sure it says curve love on it because sometimes things get mixed up also too is ordering online they do really good sales online but try to try them on in the store first that way you are able to get the size that you need the fitting rooms are open here but seriously I have a bunch of the Curve Love jeans and the shorts. They are amazing. They're not the cheapest ever. I mean, Abercrombie is known for having like high quality jeans and that doesn't stop at the Curve Love line. So definitely check them out. You won't regret it. I will link a bunch of pairs down below for you guys. And if you try them, let me know. Contrary to what you might think, nothing is like covered in like mousses anymore. It's all just like really cute, trendy clothes super good quality ah i love shopping here i love this maxi i love the detailing like the scrunch detailing and it's backless which is so pretty oh my gosh this is so pretty i mean if you want the abercrombie and fitch mousse stuff they definitely still have it but this is the way back of the store. This is not what they're focusing on anymore. In the clearance section, I found this really cute like cheetah print, like light sweatshirt material hoodie. So it's super cute, it's only 20 bucks. I'm weak. Your mall doesn't have full size live palm trees in it? Weird. Okay, this store makes me think of Charleston and my heart is breaking because I want to go so bad. Brian, we went into a Psycho Bunny, like a store that sold Psycho Bunny and now we have a Psycho Bunny store here and it just makes me think of Charleston. I can't wait to go back. All right, we made it to our final destination. I really only need to grab one thing, but I wanted to show you their really cute workout clothes and they have really good basics too. I got these crop leggings and I'm obsessed with them, so I wanted to show them to you. I wear them in a medium, so for size reference, if you think we're the same size, I wear a medium. I'm obsessed with these. These are the crop high-rise elevate leggings with the pocket has to have the pocket. I've been searching for hot pink leggings for a long time. If you've been here, you know. And these are the ones I got and I'm absolutely in love with them. I really wanna pick up these bike shorts as well because they have like the pocket and they fit really well. I just was kind of like shying away from this print. It's a lot more neon in person. So I don't know. I think eventually I'll pull the trigger. I wanted to show you these short sleeve and sleeveless knit dresses. I have these in so many colors. This is my favorite bathing suit cover up. It's just the most simple sleeveless swing dress ever. Super comfortable, stretchy material. And every year they come out with it in a bunch of like really fun prints. This year, of course, they have like some tie-dye ones because tie-dye is very in. They have floral ones, black and white, solid colors. And I have some like from every single year. They last forever. They're such a good price. They're just absolutely perfect beach cover-up or just a summer dress. They also have really pretty 
stuff if you're doing like family pictures or whatever. They have stuff that matches for the whole family here. So you can find similar prints in like kids, boys, girls, men's. So stuff like this is perfect for like family pictures. I'm also obsessed with these like lace up tees. They're a little bit thicker of a t-shirt material, but it's, you know, not as plain as just like a plain t-shirt because it has this. So it gives it a little bit something extra, which I really like. And right now they're 20% off. I love Old Navy too because it's super size inclusive. Like they have a lot of extended sizing in store. They're also, um, on their website, they have like a gender neutral tab. So that's pretty cool. But I wanted to give you a tip. So what I like to do is like kind of shop in store and then actually place my order online for in-store pickup because online they always have like the craziest coupons and stuff and you can always get the stuff the same day. So that's just a way that I like to save money. So there's my little tip. But I actually came in here to pick up something for Brian. So I'm gonna grab that and then we're gonna go ahead and end this video with a good old shopping haul. Okay, back in my car now and it is time for a haul. I'm just gonna go in order of like the stores that I went to. So the first store was Airy. They have a lot of really cute stuff. I really want to order this blue set, but the shorts were like unavailable and I could drive over to the outlets. Like the Aerie and American Eagle outlet is the only store I go to at the outlets because you can park in front of it and just walk in. And it's really close to here, but I just want to go home and have dinner. So I might check like another day this week. So I, they have the top at the store, but they didn't have the bottoms. And then the bottoms weren't even, a, it just said unavailable online. Like you couldn't even do like an in-stock notification. So I didn't want to get the blue sweatshirt if I couldn't ever get the matching shorts. So I'm going to keep looking out for that. And I really wanted the blue. They also didn't have the yellow in stock, which I would have liked as well. But I'm going to keep checking for the blue set. But I did get those like ribbed biker shorts. Honestly, they're super comfortable and I just really like them. And I'm getting into the biker short thing. So I just thought they were cute, super flattering, like with the crisscross in the front. So decided to pick these up. Just in case you guys wanna know prices, these were $34.95. And this brand, like the offline brand, like I said, doesn't qualify for any discounts. So. $34.95 was full price. Then, oh my gosh, I'm living my best Barbie life. I got this swimsuit. I'm just obsessed with it. It is like shiny ribbed. It's kind of hard to like see the real color on camera. So I will take a picture of it with my phone and put the picture here. It's literally like vibrating off my face. That's insane. But I got the swim bottoms and then the matching top. I really like to do like matching, um, not like mismatched. Like I really like to have matching sets for like swimsuits. So I got the top. This is gonna look so good with a tan. I just feel like I'm really living my best Barbie life with this. So when I saw this, I just had to pick it up. The bottoms were 30 and the top was 35. So the top was more expensive than the bottoms. Shopping online is definitely the best. You can find the most sales, but it's just tough because if you don't know your sizes and sometimes sizing can be a little bit weird. So nothing was on sale, everything was full price, which I don't love that for me, but it is what it is. The next store I went to was Bath and Body Works. I got 10 wallflowers and that was $50 cause they're um, five for 24 or whatever. So it was like $51 to get all 10. So I got mahogany coconut. I got pink watermelon. I got one pink watermelon. I definitely think I got two mahogany coconut. I got two of the champagne toast. This one is so yummy. Brian's gonna be pumped. I got two of the pineapple mango. And then I got one each of honeysuckle and freesia, sun washed citrus, and peach bellini. So lots of like fruity, fruit forward scents, a lot of like citrus going into the spring and summer. I just want our house to smell like super fresh and fruity. So I just like to be like one of those houses where people walk in and like, oh my gosh, what is that? Like it just smells so good. And with the wallflowers, because I have so many, like I have to get a lot of scents that complement each other. So I think I did a good job. I'm really excited to put all these in and have our house smelling like a smoothie. Okay, so weird. A car just like whipped through the parking lot and it's the exact car Brian has. And I was like, babe, what are you doing here? The next store I went to was Abercrombie and I decided to pick up that cheetah like hoodie. Just thought it was so cute and like going into the summer, sometimes at night it gets a little bit cool and I just wanted something cute that I could throw on with shorts. So decided to pick this up. It was only $20 because it was on clearance. So I feel like it was a good deal. And then the last store I went into was Old Navy, like you just saw. 
and I got Brian a bathing suit. So I picked up this bathing suit for him uh, last week, but it wasn't the right size, and I forgot to bring the right size with me. So I still have to go back to return the other one, but I wanted to get the right size before they all sell out. Guys, look at this swimsuit. It's like a neon yellow color with just pineapples all over it. It's so cute, he loved it. But I did just find this really cute one on Target.com. This one has pineapples as well. I'm not sure how good you'll be able to see it, but it's like pineapples in like cocktails with like blue palm leaves and it's aqua. It's really nice. So I asked him if he likes this one better because I can just return them both and get this one. Um, but he needs a couple new swimsuits, so maybe he'll just want all swimsuits with pineapples on it. I feel like because we live in Florida, you have to get new swimsuits more often because you wear them more and they just like stretch out and they get worn from the sun and sunscreen so you just have to get new swimsuits like really often in Florida so he definitely needs a couple new ones so this is a start hopefully this size actually fits him the this is a large the medium literally wouldn't go up over his butt we both have really big butts I feel like our kids are just gonna come out one big butt because we both have big butts but yeah so hopefully this one fits and he likes it or if not I will just return it but this is really cute and it has pineapples on it so I had to get it for him alrighty you guys well that is gonna be it for me today I really hope that you loved going shopping with me and this little summer clothing haul I know I don't do videos like this often, so I really hope that you guys liked it. Let me know what was your favorite thing I showed down below or anything you might decide to purchase. All the links will be down below. But that is going to be it for me. If you haven't yet, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!